Turning Japanese by The Vapors. A classic 80s song here. Um, pretty fun here. It's got some uh, uh, Asian style pentatonics going on in there, of course. And otherwise, just kind of a punk rocky type song. Uh, pretty fun uh, intro here. It starts off with that, you know, iconic uh, Asian riff. And um, we're going to play that all the way up here at the 15. Um, so 15 on the B and the E. Okay. We're going to hit that uh, four times. All right, now we're going to go down to 13. All right, and then the 10, we're going to do that twice. And then back to 13, 1. Okay. Okay, and now the verse comes in, and the kind of a punk rocky vibe going on here. Uh, not too hardcore, but uh, pretty basic. Uh, it's going to be a G chord, but we're going to play a voicing that's pretty high up here. Uh, so we're going to go 10th fret on the A, and then 12 on the D, G, B. Okay, so we're going for that higher voicing of a G. And this here, we're kind of just, we want to just be strumming it. But we want to hit the bass note and then just kind of accent with the 12s. And just keep it all pretty short and sweet. Maybe a little palm muting on there too. Okay, we just wanna get this action going. Okay, just like that. And then after we do that, uh, we're gonna do a little scale. And it's, Pretty simple, but it, it's got to be quick too. So, okay, so it's going to be uh, just a quick 12 12 on the D. And you, you don't really even need to get out of this position here of that chord we were just in. We can just kind of keep that there and just hit a couple of D 12s. And then we bring our pinky over here and we're going to go 13 12 on the B. And then to 12 on the G. Okay. Alright, and from there, uh, we kind of do a similar thing, but we just change to a new chord. So we're going to slide down to 7 with that same configuration for the that E, a higher E voice in here. So 7 on the A, 9, 9, 9 on the D, G, B. And same kind of strumming pattern. And then the little scale here, we do two nines on the D and then we change a little bit because we go seven eight nine on the G all right so we put the whole verse together there to the verse uh, after we do it a few times and um, pretty simple we just drop down here to a open A chord and then we go a C power chord so a third fret on the A and then up to five for the D and then we go back into the verse all right, and then uh, for the final time, we do that little turnaround at the end of the verse. Okay, 
it's going to jump into a new section here, uh, which is just going to be a real quick little riff. Uh, it's going to be a third fret on the G for a power chord. And you want to keep these pretty short, staccato style. Okay. And we're going to go third on the E, drop it down to third on the A. Then we're going to go seven, five on the A. Two threes on the A. Two sevens on the A. Two fives. Okay, so you put that whole thing together. Okay, and there's a second half to that uh, section where it just kind of jumps up uh, to a high chord instead of hitting the uh, the G low. We're going to hit it uh, up high here. So it's going to be 10 on the A, 12, 12, 12 on the D, G, B. All right, down to 3, 7, 5. Two threes. And then we just, when we hit that five power chord on the A for the D power chord basically, we're just going to let that ring because then that intro riff comes in. Okay. But uh, we're just going to let that ring here. Alright, and you put that whole thing together. chorus comes in. Uh, it's going to be a G. Um, same high voicing here up at the 10 on the A. So that uh, power chord there. And these here we're just going to be hitting the 8th notes. Okay. And you know it's going to be about uh, 16 of those. So E for the D power chord. And we just we just have to hit a couple of those. Okay. And then there's gonna be a little scale after that. And that's gonna be uh, that 10 bass note we were just at. Then we do 9 on the A, 12 on the A, 12 on the D, 10 on the D, 9 on the D. 12 on the A. second half of the chorus. Uh, it just kind of changes keys here. Uh, so we're going to go to the F, which is 8th fret of the A. 10, 10, 10 on the G, B, E. Okay, high voicing of an F. And same deal, just 8th notes, about 16 of them. And similar to the other one, we're just going to jump up to the next set here, at 8 on the E. And then 10, 10, 10 uh, for the C. Hit it twice. And do a little scale here, which will be uh, the 8 bass note on the E. 7, 10 on the A. 10 on the D. 9 on the D. 7 on the D. 10 on the A. Okay, so it's a lot similar to that first little scale, but it's just going to change slide one note up. On there's a that last little bit there instead of hitting a you know like a 
we're going to do instead. Uh, you might notice that. So anyway, uh, here it is. Slowly. section together. Okay, and then there's a little turnaround for the end of the chorus. Uh, and this is going to be um, some uh, three strums here on the third fret of the E. Just a one, two, three. to a second fret power chord. Same deal, just three. Then to one, same strum. And back up to two for three strums. Okay. And then we're going to do that little uh, verse turnaround bit. Okay, so we're going to go three on the A. Seven, five, two threes, seven to five. Okay, in the bridge section now, where it gets sounds kind of polka for some reason. Um, uh, basically, it's just going to be kind of a we're going to rest on the initial count and then hit the chord. Rest on the initial count, hit the chord, just to give it that, you know, offbeat polka vibe. And uh, this is going to be up at the G. Um, same voicing, 10th fret on the A. Okay, 12, 12, 12 on the G, B, E. Okay, so like I said, we're just going to rest on that first count. And then, you know, you can just hit it on the upstroke if you want, if it makes it easier. And we're going to do that about eight times, so... drop it down to D, so 5th fret on the A, same deal, but we're going to do it four times. Okay, now we're going to bring it up to the F at the 8th fret on the A, All right, and do this eight times. And then take this to the C, which would be 8 on the E, 10, 10 on the A and D four times. All right, and now it kind of blends in the chorus with that polka vibe too, where the first half of it is going to be the normal chorus style, and then it's going to go into the kind of polka uh, vibe. So it'll start with the G chord here up at the 10 on the A, and we're going to do it like the normal chorus, just hit the eighth notes, uh, about 16 of them. And then it'll drop into that polka beat. Um, and we're going to do that at the 5th fret on the A for the D. I'm going to just do it four times. Okay, so it would be... Okay, and then the chords shift, but it keeps the same style. Uh, so we're going to be at the 8th fret on the A for the F. And uh, same 6th... Uh, 16 of the eighth notes and then go to the A, eighth on the E for the C and just hit those polka style. All right, and the solo comes in now and it's kind of a variation of the uh, intro riff you know, playing it on the same strings and kind of the same sound and vibe. Uh, just shift it a little bit. So it's going to start at the 12. Okay, just hitting the B and E together. All right, and we're going to go 12, 10, 12, 10. All right, and then we split it a little bit. We go 8 on the B, 7 on the E, back to 10. 
back to eight and seven. And then we go to seven on the B, five on the E, a couple times. Slide that down to five and three, five on the B, three on the E. Back to seven B, five E. Okay. second half of the solo um, we just are just descending down the scale here uh, this part's going to start at six on the B five on the E and we're going to go five B three E back to six and five back to five and three One on the B, open E, back to five and three. It's going to be a 3 on the B, and we're going to bend the 5 on the G just to get it hit the unison notes there. Okay. And then bring that same configuration up to 5 on the B, 7 on the G. Okay, just hit it once and bend it. And then up to 7B, 9G. And then we go just up 1 to 8 and 10. And then up 2 to 10 and 12. Up 2 again to 12 and 14. a little bit of work but uh, eventually you'll get it. Okay so we'll put that whole section together. Okay there you have it that's Turning Japanese by the Vapors. Uh, like I said a lot of fun uh, riffs in there um, different techniques and styles mixed in. Um, interesting sounds I think. Uh, really cool song. I hope you learned something with it here. And uh, give me a subscription. That'd be super cool. And, um, you know, stay Japanese. See ya.